Trigger Happy here, and I'm back again with episode 3 of Editors Can Play 2. Before I talk about the game, I just want to talk to you guys about how I'm feeling right now about editing and whatnot. So, basically, recently I uploaded a video of the Team Focus Team Taj 1 that I edited the second part, and I basically gave you guys a link to go watch the video. I don't know if there's a box failure, but out of my 396 subscribers, only like 39 people watched that video. And it wasn't the first video that it was like that. It was even my previous video that I uploaded, I believe it was the Cannes trailer. Or actually, no, it was the Gears of War montage that I did. Uh, only like 30 something players. Or people watched it and I'm starting to feel that like the reason I edited in the first place is to gain views for my videos so since nobody's really watching my videos I'm just thinking about quitting editing and just not do this anymore because to me in my eyes it seems like it's a waste of time basically because nobody's viewing my content but I'm not really sure yet I'm just I'm still thinking it over but I don't know but before I if I decide to quit before I do that I have a really nice idea for a one clip edit uh, which is gonna be a while before it comes up because there's one thing I have to learn how to do before I be able to do that one clip edit which is 3d animation with like characters like Call of Duty players characters I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying but you know like 3d animation basically so yeah that's that so this game actually went 19 and 2 and I was even accused of wall hacking in this particular game which I find absurd because I don't I don't hack at all it's, I really don't know maybe it's because I'm just too good but I find that with PC you get accused a lot of, like wall hacking or or hacking in general but like if it was PS3 they would just say how do you do that and if it was Xbox 360 there was like oh my god ah uh, you know those fanboy reactions or whatever but on PC it's a different story if you if you do good in a game they basically say, oh, you're a hacker, this and that, you should get banned and whatnot. They never think that you're actually good at the game. So, yeah, I got accused of wall hacking, so, yeah, I just basically disregard it. And I have, I believe, three of my friends is on the other team playing the game with me right now. So, they were the one that told me that, oh, their teammates was calling me hacking, or was calling hacks on me, basically. So, Modern Warfare 3, oh my god, there's so much to talk about Modern Warfare 3. I feel, well, in my opinion, I feel that Modern Warfare 3 is just a basic DLC of Modern Warfare 2. It wasn't worth the $60 that I paid for it. And I was even having problems with my mouse in Modern Warfare 3, and I know there's nothing wrong with my mouse because... Uh, basically all I had to do was just turn on my polling rate to 125 and that fixed the problem so with Modern Warfare 3 there's a lot of similarities well 90% of Modern Warfare 3 is basically Modern Warfare 2 and I liked how the developers said that oh they're gonna make it like uh, a 50-50 version of Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 but I see no similarities with Modern Warfare 4 besides the red dot sight that you have on most of the assault rifles so yeah like and uh, I feel that the developers of Modern Warfare 3 was basically saying FPC players because they gave us the same matchmaking matchmaking BS as how the console players have it where like they gave us dedicated servers but the dedicated servers are basically useless in this game because they made them unranked one so you have to play matchmaking to actually gain points and two 
they made uh, you can't like use custom classes in in the dedicated server so you basically have to use the default classes like you know the default classes when you start up a game or when you first started ranking up and you see those default classes those are the only classic you use or the classes that the server owners want you to use basically so to me the dedicated servers are useless second or besides that there's a lot of uh, hacking going around in Modern Warfare in Modern Warfare 3 and basically since there's no dedicated servers you know you can't ban them or whatever but in the matchmaking there's a lot of uh, rank hacks going on so you basically join a game and you basically join the game and like if you get a kill you instantly get like 10th prestige 6th prestige or whatever prestige it wants you to get and I really didn't like that I really wanted to just play the game and rank up myself but I actually got into one recently and now I'm a uh, 10th prestige which was which you'll see at the end of this game uh, you see that I'm a 10th prestige but as of now I had it reset so I'm back to a level 1 even though before I got the 10th prestige I was what one one level away from pre prestige into level 1 so basically I have to start over from level 1 again and get back to 79 to where I originally was so yeah if if they had gave us dedicated servers you know we could have stopped that rank hacking BS or whatever but yeah what else to talk about oh there's a uh, also a lot of overpowered weapons in this game specifically like the first machine pistol of Kimbo the FMG 9 like that that gun is basically a freaking sniper but it's not a sniper you could basically shoot like halfway across the map with that gun and like if you're in a up close fire fight with them there's no way you're gonna win and people are starting to realize people are starting to realize that uh they're they're overpowered so like as soon as they start a game they just switch to their secondaries which is the fmg9 akimbo's and just run around raping people with it like they really need to nerf that weapon they need to nerf every akimbo machine pistols in this game because they're all overpowered and some of the some of the uh, some machine guns they need to nerf too. One being the UMP, and the other one I don't remember the name of it, but I believe it's the weapon you unlock after the P90. And the reason my favorite machine uh, some machine gun is the P90. I've been using it since COD4 silenced, but in this game I have rapid fire on with the uh, attachment on it the two attachments I have a silencer and rapid fire so basically I, I don't know I really like this weapon a lot and uh, some of the sniper rifles they need to fix the, the hit marker registration on it because like if I'm using the MSR I get nothing but hit markers with it and I really get like one hit kill so I have to kill like shoot them two times just to get a kill so that's one thing they need to fix and yeah I think that's basically all I have to talk about so like, I'm just gonna play some music while the game continues. Uh -huh.